Hi guys, Sweet Nails here. It is Manicure Monday from our Facebook group. Sorry, Facebook group. I got distracted by this board that's, you know, making my ghetto box look pretty. Anyhow, this is Manicure Monday for our nail group, Nail Swag, Nail Swagger, Nail Designs on Facebook. It's our Facebook group. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So, I have on my nails right now the push and shove. Um, I did lay down that base and, um, yeah, put this on. I put actually two coats and it does give you kind of a mirror finish. Now, it does say on the box that this is kind of like a one day wear, like if you're going a night out on the town. Um, it's a one day use, but I put this on the other day and it is still kind of shiny. So, you know, I have been in the shower since and washed my hair and it hasn't really gone dull at all yet. So one day use, eh, I don't think so. So, and you can put a top coat over it. Okay. So I did lay this down first on all 10 fingers and this is what I have done. Okay. I have here, um, in my last haul I showed you, I got this China Glaze Glitter Polish, okay? It is super gorge, and it is called Glitter Up, okay? You can't see that, because, yeah. But anyhow, I put that on my pinky, and my middle finger, and my thumb, okay? And on these two fingers here, oh, oh my goodness, I can't, like, wah, 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 wah. Can't bend my fingers. <laughs> okay, so on this finger here, I use some stamping. So on this hand, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, this stamp plate is from Conad. It is number M73. And I am using this little squared kind of, um, yeah, it's just like a, you know, squared deco kind of thing. Anyhow, getting started. On this finger, I used this pink. Um, it is not a Sally Hansen pink. This is a pink that I mixed myself um, in a Sally Hansen bottle because that was the one that was empty. Um, and I called it powder pink. So it is, it's super cute. It's not, it is opaque, but on the silver, it kind of, you can't really see it too, too well. You can kind of see it when it's not in the light, but, but, and anyhow, and I used... This also is not a China Glaze. This is one that I've mixed. And, no, oh wait, no, this is not one I mixed. I never, I didn't mix this. This is a China Glaze polish, and the name of this polish is Shower Together. Okay? Shower Together. China Glaze. My top coat that I use is Pache. And this is fantastic. I love this, guys. Nails by Jen, you are so right. Love this. It's so much better than the Sash Feet. It doesn't, um, well, I'm not sure. We'll wait until we get halfway down the bottle to see if it really gets thick or not. But let me know if it does, guys, okay? Because this is so much better than Sash Feet, and it's very fast. Okay, so let's get started. I wanted to say one more thing about this China Glaze. I had, like, a horrible time trying to put this on. Uh, it's not a very good glitter polish. I just, I want to say that because, um, I had to move the glitters around and, you know, dip it a whole bunch of times. So, you know, your nail could get very thick, very fast with this. Okay. Um, I find that my, my absolute favorite glitter is this, um, Maybelline color show. These glitters, I mean, you go over your nail once and these glitters are evenly distributed. It is fantastic, this stuff. I love it. Love, love, love the glitter polish from Maybelline. It's very, it, it, it works very well. The same with the hard candy as well. Glitters. Ooh, goodness. I almost knocked you guys over. Earthquake, earthquake. Okay, let's get started because I don't want to make this too long. And we're already at four minutes. Wahoo. So you'll see what I mean when I'm putting this, um, what is this polish called again? Glitter up. You'll see how I put this glitter up on and you'll get kind of a, an idea of how it doesn't 
you see, like you just kind of have to fish it out of the bottle and then kind of put them where you want to put them. Let's get some more blues in here. Where's all my blue? Oh my goodness. Okay. Look, it's starting to get real thick now. It doesn't take long, I tell you. I have a little swap here, that, or a little pad I'm kind of wiping it on so that it doesn't get too... I'm trying to find some more blue. Okay. And I'm, you know, I'm tired of that one. Okay, so I'm done that one. Oh, look at my chubby fingers. Little sausages. Daddy, would you like some sausages? Okay, weird. Anyhow, moving on. That was Freddy Got Fingered, if you didn't know. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't... Do you see what I mean, guys, with this polish? I just... I wish it just worked a little bit better, considering, you know, you pay a lot more money for these at Sally's and stuff, and, you know, if you buy a premium nail polish, you expect it to work like a premium fucking nail polish. You know? Okay. Again, I've had enough. Moving on to my thumb. See how much is on there? And it's probably just going to get pushed all off. And I am going to put a top coat on this because once it does dry, you do feel the ridges of this and, you know, I don't really want to feel the ridges of this. Oh, I wish I could just put this on with one coat and, you know. Okay, so done with that, thank God. Now, let me move on to my little stamping. Um, if you haven't seen stamping stuff before or stamping videos, it this is super easy art, guys. Okay? Like, it is a super easy art. And I'm going to show you. So I'm taking the Shower Together, which is so romantic. And I'm just going to put a little bit here. Okay? I'm kind of doing this backwards. Okay, so I'm going to just turn it over there. And I'm going to take my little slicey thing that you get with the Conad. And you push it all into the grooves. You take your stamper, which has fluffs all over it. Fantastic. This one might not work because it's got stuff all over it. And it does. I have to redo it. But, yeah, it goes on here. And then you stamp it onto your nail. But, you know, sometimes... It doesn't work as fast as you'd like it to work. Sometimes you have to stamp it a few times before you get all of the picture or before you get what you're looking for. You know, but once you do it and you do it and you do it, it gets easier. You kind of know how and what to do. Okay, so one more time now that my thing is clean. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to line it up, okay, i got to move this box, I'm going to line it up with my finger here, and I'm going to roll it on, I'm kind of pushing, let's just hope it's worked, and it did, 
Okay, can you... I know it's very hard for you guys to see it because it's on the silver and it's not as opaque as a black or something, but... Can I block the sun with my fat fingers? Okay, you guys get the gist of it, right? Okay. Pictures on Instagram. Okay, so now I'm going to do the pink. Would you pink the powder pink, the one that I mixed myself. I have a few of these polishes because, yeah, I like to make them. Okay, and we'll get a little bit here on the bottom. You can kind of see that color there. Or, yeah, not really. It's just a powder pink. All right, take my little slicey, pull it down, and get it stamped. That, see, that one didn't work too good because I mushed it and, yeah, don't mush it. Just lightly do it. So let's wipe. You would think that as many times as I've done this, you know, you can still make mistakes like these. And, you know, you just got to get through them, right? So... Even the pros go through these kind of things. Not that I'm a pro, but... Okay, so... Let me move that so I don't get my arm messed with it. Okay, so I'm going to take it, line it up with my finger, and I'm going to roll it on. I'm kind of pushing quite a little bit hard, because I want all the pieces to stick. Okay, there's a little bit there. And donezo. Okay, so I'm done with the stamping. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these little rhinestones on, you know, to complement the color, the baby blue color here and then the baby pink color here just to add some bedazzle, you know? So I got this off of eBay, guys. And, you know, oh, look at the little green one in there. Anyhow, don't pick that up. Okay, so I have a little form. This is the back of one of my uh, nail forms. It's, you know, very shiny. And this is what I also use to put my ac acrylic paint on when I'm doing my acrylic paint nail art. But you just put you know, just a drop or two of your glue. I am using KISS Maximum Speed Nail Glue, okay? Just get that in, you know, I got that in a, one of those Walmart things. Okay, where is my toothpick? Okay, so I just got a toothpick here. Uh, wrong hand. I'm doing the wrong hand now. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab it. One, two, three, four times. I'm going to pick up my baby blues. Oh, nail glue. Okay, epic fail. All right, so I'm just going to, you know, that is a red stone, and I don't want it. Okay. There. I really like this glue because, especially for like my nail art and stuff, because it sticks and it dries good. Okay, so two more dots here. Gonna move in. One there. And one there. Okay. There. And I'm done. That finger. Moving on to the pink now. If I have enough glue here, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay.
yeah, it's kind of drying a little bit, so I may need more. Okay, going on 15 minutes here. This is a long tutorial, sorry guys, but hey. Real life time, I guess you could say. Come on now, pencil. There we go. That's it. Now all we have to do is just use our top coat and top coat everything. I'm just gonna, you know, make sure there's not one sticking up because it is kind of dry right now. So just pushing it, making sure. Okay, yes, yeah, so there is a few ridges, but anyhow. Top coat, and this is the Poshi. This polish is so nice. Can anybody let me know if it's still very nice after it's half empty? I don't want to say half empty, but half empty. You know how the Sash Vite gets. It gets so thick and oh, hard to work with. So if somebody could let me know if this polish is the same as that or if it's just a better grade polish because it does it dries super quick just like the sash feet maybe even faster but so nice so look at what a mess I made okay so that is it okay manicure Mondays that's me thank you so much for watching have a good day guys